Okay, so one of the big things about this is the large flow. It is high-headed HW 300,000. <laughs> Just kidding, it's an HW 3000. It looks pretty snazzy. It's got these, this little LED digital display. It's, it's kind of the same overall theme of Sun Sun's packaging, but it's telling you it's got a built-in frequency pump, small power, large flow, high head, super silent, we'll be the judge of that. And then we've got the external LED control panel, more effective to adjust, pump power, UV lamp working on a timer, uh, ceramic shaft so it's wear resistant, there's gonna be no rust, and overall it's kind of got that longer service life. It's draining, skep of multi-layer design, uh, I don't know, we'll find out what they're talking about. And then a unique design, uh, for the inlet and outlet uh, accessories that are fixed. If it is the fixed ones, I've used the fixed ones on a different filter, which is one of the ones you saw earlier. I was definitely not a fan, and I'll explain that if that's the case. Um, siphon principle can get rid of all the air. So basically, they're trying to go after fluval, plain and simple. So let's open this bad boy up. Um, hopefully it comes with all the media because that's typically uh, you can get that version online and then you can get another version online that doesn't have it. I have not opened this so I'm seeing it for the first time just like you. Some random foam. So we do have the media, we got the cheapo rings, we got the bio balls. Now all this stuff is kind of the cheap material. So keep it, use it, whatever you want. And then we've got some pelletized carbon, which is actually really dusty <laughs> right now. Uh, and then it's your typical look. You know, it's that typical Sun Sun look. You've got your, your, your nice covering so that it doesn't scratch, which I don't necessarily know if it's needed, but people do like that. And then you have your separate accessories that are in this box, which we will open last. But let's, uh, let's open this bad boy and uh, let's, see, let's see how it feels. So as far as the media baskets, they've given you some extra media, which is really good. It never hurts to have leftover media, but one of the things about Sun Sun that I noticed over an extended period of time, and I would say that it's the same with this, is these bad boys will actually break. Um, they do have a little bit of a lever. They work well, they go right back in, however, I just find that over time they do not bode well. And what I mean by over time, I mean like three or four years these start to break apart or deteriorate and it only happens here. It doesn't happen anywhere else on this item other than the hinge parts. Now I've seen this crack if you leave your UV sterilizer on, but again, I don't use the UV sterilizer so that's not much of a deal breaker for me. So. That is, in a nutshell, the baskets. So you're gonna get the same style plastic. You're gonna get a little bit more media, I would assume, out of this one, just because that's what I'm seeing from this production, is there is more media in this box than I have seen with any other Sun Sun. That could be the case, or it may not be the case when you buy it on eBay or Amazon. Um, just dump it right in there. However, just remember, wherever you purchase this, that's up to you, Amazon, eBay, your local store, whoever has it. There'll be a lot of hate to Sun Sun, but what I find is Sun Sun's a great backup. It is a good primary on somebody that has a, um, you know, a different style budget than a lot of folks do out there. So if an FX6 is out of your range or an FX4 is out of your range, then yes, I would highly recommend this. This is a perfect partner filter for an FX, uh, period. I have three on here and I've run Sun Sun since day one when I found out about them, which was about five and a half years ago. And so that is the baskets. They hold enough. Uh, honestly, they'll hold more than what a Fluval will, uh, in my opinion. Fluval is kind of, kind of this big, it sits deeper, but this is the whole basket, so you can really take advantage of that space. And there's four baskets as opposed to three in uh, the FX. So overall, really like it so far 
we're gonna definitely check out this box because this is gonna be the make or break for me right here, depending on the way these housings look for your return and your intake. Okay, so normal green tubing, see-through, you can see the gunk on them, they're very similar to Eheim. Uh, heat them up, use some warm water, get them over the actual nozzles that you need. Uh, they will last a very, very long time. I do prefer FX, or I should say, I do prefer Fluval's version. However, they don't last as long as these do. They're just much easier to work with, especially when you're trying to set up a tank really fast. Um, these don't bode as well, but yes, long-term, these are much more sturdy. And I wish they gave you just a little bit more, but these will do and this will work uh, for most aquariums. You're going to have your traditional nozzle. I do like that this piece is smaller. However, that does feel super uh, loose. So I I'm hoping that that is changed in the future. I do like that. I do like open. I do like the in. I do like the out. Um, that is really cool and you know same style. It's got your you know your nice little washers here It's already lubed up so to speak and This is much better than the larger piece that's on them because they can get very cumbersome when you're trying to mess with it uh, But you know as I'm watching it. It's a traditional just kind of plastic movement So watch how hard you move this don't fight it. Don't push it down. Just kind of use a couple fingers and I think you'll be perfectly fine. So this is weird, right? Look at this bad boy. This is going to be your strainer. So you can pop this bad boy out and you can change how much it strains right in there based on these pieces. So you're just turning this blue piece. Um, I don't use the strainer. Uh, it hooks up to the intake so it'd be just like this. And then this bad boy will stay like this so you can turn it and then this will hide once it floats and then all of your gunk, if you're trying to figure out what it does, all of your gunk here, can you see that? Is it focusing? <laughs> all of this stuff, um, once the water line hits there, it'll go right into the intake. I just find that these aren't as good uh, just in general. They do help, uh, but they just don't help as much as I would want them to to make this an eyesore for me. Maybe for you it works perfectly fine. So let's see, yeah. So I am not a fan right off the gate. Well, this tube is large and in charge. Whoa. So that's neat. They added a little bit of a rubber washer. Um, that is pretty cool. So what I'm assuming, my assumption is correct. That tube is much larger than your traditional Sun Sun tube, uh, but it is a very, very tight, tight extender. I do like that. It's not your little click, 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 like fluval, and it's not your just pop in, and you get a lot of placement from the looseness. Uh, you get a lot of uh, free bypass where just stuff goes in or comes back out. This seems to be very, <laughs> very, very good. So I do dig on that. That's a cool, cool touch. However, I don't dig on this. Um, and I'm sorry if Sun Sun wants to be upset. Actually, I dig on this piece right here. Um, you can go to the side. Um, let me see, nope. So you're gonna have to stay locked in, but this will hook up to the trim, right? You've got your little pieces. This stays right here, it gets stuck to the trim. And then you would pop this bad boy in here and then it would stay locked in. I don't like this for a couple reasons. What if your aquarium has framing that's bigger than this? You're stuck. I can take this piece out, but at the end of the day, I'm still stuck. It doesn't give me an opportunity. Um, so what I did for the ones behind me is I just, in essence, didn't use this piece. I just laid them up over the top. Um, this has a nice little flow piece right here where you can pop it off and you can clean it out and do what you gotta do with it. Um, add some stuff. So I do like that feature. That's not bad, but definitely don't like this. Definitely don't like this. All right, the final piece is the denouement. It's the same thing. Uh, it's got your adjuster piece right there on the top. You can take that off. 
Still just not a fan. If I could, actually, hold on, stand by one second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I stand corrected. I apologize. You can actually take this one off. The one I have on this tank behind me, you cannot take off. But this will do perfectly fine uh, for me. And I can create my own buffer there that you would never see. It's hidden by a canopy. But yes, I will re-say, state that this is not bad if I can take it off. So I am a little bit more pleased with that. However, I just wish it was a normal piece where I could just clip it on. But I see where they were going. This just doesn't work very well in every application. Overall, now that it comes apart, much better to operate. I will say, um, the, I will say these are the same, uh, same cheapo plastic. This is a little bit better than the spray bar but it does come with a spray bar. So that is a huge, huge win. You get either the nozzle directional flow or the spray bar attachments. And I will say that this plastic, although slightly thicker, still kind of the same mold, a little bit bigger, but definitely slightly thicker or maybe even a slightly more denser material. So I do like that. So what do we think? Is this a win for us out of the box? Is this a win to replace some other filters? Let's talk about it. So the question is always gonna be, is it gonna replace my fluval? Probably not if you really like the feel of high density, you know, densely made materials. Sun Sun's never going to do that. However, Sun Sun is great for most people's pockets that are looking to transition from a hang on the back to a canister. Now, if you're in that range of $100 and $125, it's perfect. Unless you can get something else on sale, which is being more and more difficult to come by. However, that is running three Monster 704 Bravos. Actually, one of them is a weird pawn one that I got offline and it has that weird piece. However, that one is not removable, but the one from this Sun Sun HW3000 is. So would I purchase it? Yes, it self primes. Uh, that was the only issue I had with Sun Sun is I had to prime it myself. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's super easy, and sometimes it takes forever. But overall, it is the best bang for your buck in my opinion. I have had one fail and it was my fault. I had tipped it over and it had cracked. If you maintain any of your equipment, same goes with a vehicle, it's going to last you as long as it's gonna last you. You may get a lemon. It may last you 10 years. It may last you five years. I'd highly recommend you just do your due diligence and do the learning for yourself. Asking all the time, is this the best filter for me? Is not going to be the way you should do your research because honestly, you're the only one that knows that and most of this stuff is based on popularity. So when it comes to affordable, really, really convenient filters, I would go with the Sun Sun. But since I have the abilities to purchase Fluval, I do usually get a Fluval and then I couple it with a Sun Sun. And in this case, that one tank over there is running them completely. And you can go all the way back six years and see that I've been doing that same thing. So HW3000, without testing it yet, give it a thumbs up. Would I use it? Yes. Would I buy it? Yes. Do I need it? Not right now. So we're gonna use this in some other places to test it out and I will have a follow-up video in about 90 days to get my full review on the HW3000. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, and doing all the things that you do to make this channel relevant. I highly recommend you hit the subscribe button, check the description out, check out the website, and have a good time, and hopefully I'll see you in your backyard at maybe one of your local clubs, or an awesome convention, or show, or something related to fish. You know what's next. Holla!